This morning, I'm meeting up with Orlando Harley Owners Group to ride to Jacksonville. We're all meeting at the racetrack and we'll soon be getting underway for our ride. I think there's about 18 bikes this morning, so it should be a nice ride, but a cold one. It's 47 degrees. It looks like it may warm up later, but right now it's a little cold. There I am, arriving late. We got on the road a while ago. We'll soon be turning left onto Highway 11 headed north. It's a nice quiet uh, route. Should not find too much traffic. I think it'll be a really nice, quiet, relaxing ride. still cold. Temperature hasn't risen much at all. I'm wearing my heated gear, but I haven't bothered to plug it in. It's not that cold. So hopefully it'll warm up a little, but uh, as the sun is shining and it's a beautiful ride. I think I'll just relax and listen to some of Don Robertson's Root Cellar Blues. big red barn coming up there on the left. Oh, I think that's actually a house. Always liked big red barns. Always thought I should build one. I got lots of space in my backyard back in Canada. I just never got around to it. Maybe someday I'll go.
We've really been moving along. We're now on Highway 13, running north. It runs along the St. John River. Probably one of the nicest, if not if not the nicest, a very nice part of the ride with the river on your left. It goes on for miles. And we're not far from Jacksonville. We'll be arriving there shortly. And this is a sure nice way to come towards the end of the ride. I think I'll just sit back and listen to some modern American blues by Bobby Cole. like we've arrived. Boy, that parking lot is rough. Dips and hollows and bumps. It's mostly gravel. Small amount of really bad pavement, seems, in some spots. Anyway, it'll be okay. You just got to be careful you don't drop your bike in this. It's easy to slip on those rough gravel. Well, I guess I'll get off and see what's inside. Seems like everybody is parked, and no mishaps. So that's a good thing. So, let's see what this place is all about. All right. Yeah. Sure is nice enough outside. Seems to be a nice place for families to come, enjoying the river. Anyway, may as well go inside and see what they've got in there. And I guess it's what's inside that's really made Clark's Fish Camp famous. Apparently, over the years, the owners have collected the largest taxidermy collection in North America. Over 500 animals, birds, 
reptiles from all over the world. We've got leopards, giraffe, monkeys, lions, antelope, and we've got snakes and gators. Anyway, it's one of the most unusual collections that you can find. Well, I really enjoyed this ride with my friends with Orlando Hogg, one of the nicest people I've ever known. Anyway, if you like my videos, just click the subscribe button down there on the bottom right hand corner so you can be notified when the next one comes on. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.